Shannon Gilbert. Before they come, I wanted to read to you uh, a passage from Genesis uh, where God makes his covenant with Abraham. So listen to God's word. When Abram was 99 years old, the Lord appeared to him and said, I am God Almighty. Walk before me and be blameless. I will confirm my covenant between me and you and will greatly increase your numbers. And Abram fell on his face and God said to him, As for me, this is my covenant with you. You will be the father of many nations. No longer will you be called Abram. Your name will be Abraham. For I have made you a father of many nations, and I will make you very fruitful, and I will make you nations of you. And kings will come from you, and I will establish my covenant as an everlasting covenant between me and you and your descendants after you for the generations to come, to be your God and the God of your descendants after you. This is my covenant. Every male among you shall be circumcised, and it will be a sign of the covenant between me and you for generations to come. It's amazing that as we baptize now, we are doing, in essence, the same thing as circumcision. We are inducting new members into the covenant community of the church. And so, as Shannon and Chris and their children come forward, stand up here, we will ask them the vows, and we will baptize their children. It's interesting as I see them come again, I'm reminded again what a pleasure it is that I've had over the last couple of years to pastor them and their family. And so it's a great honor for me today to be able to baptize their children. And also to think about several years ago uh, having a conversation with them where they said that they didn't think that it was God's will that they have any more children. So we see that uh, they were wrong on that account. <laughs> so here are the vows that we've talked about. Do you, Chris and Shannon, acknowledge your children's need of the cleansing blood of Jesus Christ and the renewing grace of the Holy Spirit? Do you? Do you claim God's covenant promises on their behalf? And do you look in faith to the Lord Jesus Christ for their salvation as you do your own? Do you? Do you now unreservedly dedicate your children to God and promise in humble reliance upon divine grace that you will endeavor to set before them a godly example, that you will pray with and for them, and that you will teach them the doctrines of our holy religion, and that you will strive by all the means of God's appointment to bring them up in the nurture and the admonition of the Lord. Do you? Well, as you know, uh, as a covenant community, you too have a vow to take. And so I'll read that, and if you uh, agree to that, if you will say, uh, we do. Do you, Congregation of Surfside Presbyterian Church, undertake the responsibility of assisting the parents in the Christian nurture of these children? Do you? We do. Yeah. Let me pray for us as we prepare. Lord Jesus, thank you that you have given us this. Father, I pray that your blessing will accompany the water as it falls upon their heads. Lord, that your mercy and grace would follow it or that they would be known as covenant keepers. We pray all this name in the name of your son, Jesus. Amen. Church, this is Connor Gilbert.
children. Father, you are a merciful God. You have given us your covenant promise, an everlasting covenant. Lord, be with us today. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. 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 <laughs>